I asked Elton what he thought were the differences between Britain and the States, where evangelist preacher Pat Robertson has declared he's running for president. Well, they're God mad over here, aren't they? I mean, it's absolutely frightening. I mean, like, God did this touchdown, God made this jacket, um, God kicked, cooked this dinner, you know? It's uh, the only, I mean, the, they're, they're, America is great. Their people are so generous. You know that. You've been, I mean, they're the most generous people in the world. The only frightening thing is that you get people like Robertson, people like that, that running for presidency. And the most frightening thing is he might even get in, in, you know. That's the only difference I find. It's just... But uh, you've never really fallen foul of the sort of God lot, Oh, yes, you? I have. I, when I was on my last tour in Washington, I, they burnt my records. I don't know, evil records. But they were burning Dean Martin records. I don't know why. Well, I, I said I do know why they were bloody awful records. Um, <laughs> um, but I mean, I don't know why he got lumped in with me, you know. It's yeah. sort of like, I can see the old bisexual statement coming up, the wrath of God. And in fact, we, our touring set at the moment, we've got these huge cones and they look like enormous Ku Klux Klan hats. That, they're illuminated. So I was in, we were playing Memphis the other night. I thought, this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. We have to. We have to. We've dispensed with them because you know I don't want people sort of lumbering me with that because exa that's exactly what they look like. Well, you have Sharon a, you, goes Ku Klux. Yes, but you have to. You've now got married. Mm. You're mixing with royalty. Mm. I mean, have you got you say mixing or mincing? <laughs> well, have you got respectable on us? No, I don't think. Does it look it? I mean, again, does it look? That's my stock answer. Does it look like it? No, I don't think so. I mean, I've got a badge upstairs which I thought would be very good for you, Anna. I says I refuse to grow up. Um, I am, yes, I am respectable when it, the time needs to be. At Watford, I would never, ever dream of turning up like this with a pink ponytail. Hi, viewers. Um, because, I, you know, it, it, it wouldn't go that way. But, I mean, as far as my own outlook on life, I just have always had, since the, my teenage years, when I was suppressed as a teenager, <laughs> and I lived my life in my 20s, and I just, everyone said, you can't do that, and I thought, yes, I can. Uh, no, I should always, that's part of my, I, I don't do it to be outrageous or anything. I just do it because I like it. I mean, I've always, one year I made the worst, uh, the top 10 best dressed men and the one, t uh, the top 10 worst dressed women the same year <laughs> by that dreadful Mr. Blackwell. You oh, know yeah. that, I mean, yeah. his only talent is for owning the most hideous things in the world and putting it into a house. <laughs> we were saying earlier, you feel very sorry for teenagers at the moment, that they can't really be as outrageous as we were and have as much fun as we could when we were teenagers. Oh, or is that just us getting That's old? a fallacy. No, no, we were talking about, um, Actually, what we were talking about was the AIDS scene about yeah. gay people you know, who are younger and how, how it, you know, th how frightening it must be for them to come out anyway. It's always a terrible torment for gay, gay people to come out. But for gay kids, uh, it missed me like doubly. I mean, it's just awful. Um, <clears throat> I'm very committed to the AIDS thing. I'm a, I've got, I'm make a, if I'm going to do charity things, I will try and concentrate on doing things like that for people. But I think, oh, come on. I mean, on stage, <clears throat> uh, what happened with, I mean, I'm wearing these mohawk, uh, mohawk wigs. If I'd have been popular in the punk era, you'd have had to take me around by furniture, lorry, because I'd have had my, I mean, I grew up with doing the, pla you know, those huge platform, hideous platform shoes, and I had the odd pink hair and, until Vid Vidal Sassoon did it and it all fell out. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> leave that one in at my peril. If you're British, you can get away with it, though, because you're British, because they like it. But if Americans try and do it, it's kind of like, <gasps> you know, they've never really been successful at producing a visual act, have they, really? Apart from Prince, who's not that outrageous. Yeah, exactly. and, um, but um, yeah, the British, the British can go because it's their eccentricity. And in Britain, of course, you can walk out, you know, most places, and people don't. It's like the, the ultimate thing with these mohawk wigs and stuff that I'm wearing now, which are great fun, the higher the better. I mean, they're, they're about two foot high or one foot six high now, and they're going to get larger. I mean, as I say, I shall end up like Mrs. Schilling, but with a wig version, right? <laughs> <laughs> and Sharon Schilling will present tonight on stage. <laughs> and you, and the, I, I saw this guy walking down the street in the Cromwell Road, and I'm sure it was one of Zig Zig Sputnik. And what's happened, they've sort of like died the death over here, and I sort of ripped them off, which is kind of an irony, isn't it? Yeah. It's keep advancing, yeah, but yeah, don't be yeah. mutton dressed as lamb, isn't it? That's the trick. Are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> Sitting here like Zsar Zsar Gabor, right? <laughs> darling, Gabor I'm on my darling. Yes. 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 What she, about I, movies? Do you think you're getting into movies? Well, unless they... <laughs> this is the funny. I mean, I, the first movie I was ever offered when I, when I first came to America in 1970, my career was just starting, was Harold and Maud. They offered me the lead in Harold and Maud, which is one of the greatest movies of all time, right? And the best script. Since then, apart from Tommy, it's been really downhill all the way. It's usually like two rock stars in their own Lear jets. I mean, it's a nightmare. And so, um, but if there's another uh, good one offered here. Well, uh, Godly and Cream did say to me that they said, we don't know how to quite to ask you this, but he said, we just bought the rights of the Billy Bunt. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, please don't be offended. And I said, not on. I think I, I'd love to. When did my when did my, my caravan and cried my eyes out? <laughs> I think you'd be well, a good Billy Bounce. I would, that's yes. the trouble. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>